situations. Yeah, many people are turning to security companies to try to help them feel safe again. 10 News reporter Ned Roberts is live at one Bay Area company. Ned? Well, you know, businesses in the Bay Area and across the country are really looking to beef up their security right now. Among other things, improving their video surveillance capabilities like you see here at Critical Intervention Services, a security firm in Clearwater, where both the men and women who work here and the companies they serve are on heightened alert. Character, leader one, leader two. Manning is posted okay. Critical right. Intervention yeah. Services yeah. Operations Center. John Arsenault coordinates a team of armed security personnel protecting Bay Area uh, businesses. Whatever these guys need to get their job done, uh, I try to provide it for them. Utilizing the latest in computer and video technology, Arsenault and his team work to keep uh, yeah. clients safe, trying to stay one step ahead. A lot of places believe that you can put a man in a uniform in front of a store and have security. Uh, here at CIS, we know that that's not the case, that you have to have a proactive approach to security. It's an approach CIS Executive Vice President Tim O'Rourke says more and more businesses are pursuing following the September 11 attack on America. A lot of what we've been getting is background checks. People are very, very interested to know who's working for them, who's coming in. But it's not just an increased interest in background checks. What's beginning to emerge is a basic change in the security mindset. Everyone is, is mentally going on a, a little higher alert. Uh, physical security has been increased uh, to an extent. The personnel uh, are a little bit more security conscious, which is a good thing. A good thing that people like John Arsenault hope will make their job a little easier now and in the future. I think as a public, we have to realize that security is everyone's responsibility. Uh, now, another example of this heightened alert status, folks here at uh, Critical Intervention Services are recommending to the executives at companies they serve that those executives do not fly together to business meetings domestically or abroad, that it's safer if they fly on separate airplanes, or better yet, use video conferencing services if they can. Reporting live in Clearwater, Ned Roberts, 10 News. Now, there are still are ways to...